Hi, you guys. How are you? My name is Emmanuel King, and I am one of the mentors here at the Talent Agency Guide. I want to give you a quick tip this week on how you can have a better performance in your audition. Well, one of the ways is to make sure that you are off book and you know your lines. Everyone has a different level when it comes to their ability to memorize. Some people have photographic memory, and so it's very easy for them. But the majority of performing artists always struggle with this very thing. How do I learn my lines? I'm having such a difficult time memorizing my lines. Well, it all is going to come down to time and effort. Let me say that again because a lot of people are afraid of those two words, time and effort. You are going to have to put in the time. This is your career. If you have an audition and that audition can get you to the next level of your life and the next level of opportunity, and it can literally catapult your career, so that you can book the national, so that you can book the series, so that you can book the guest star role that you really want. You have to be comfortable in the audition room and you're not going to be completely comfortable in the audition room if you are not off book. Now, does that mean that you have to go in there without your sides and hands? No, it doesn't. It just means that you know exactly what is happening in the scene. See, if you know your character's lines and you know the other character's lines and you know your environment and you know your character, then all you have to do is play in the moment with the reader that you're actually doing the scene with. In order to help you with this memorization, understanding time and effort, well, there's many ways. One is you can write out your lines over and over and over. Now, that's just one way. And if you're already doing it and it's not helping you, then you wanna explore different ways. Another way is to literally audio record yourself. So get a voice recorder. You can use the one on your cell phone, the one on your computer, or buy one off of Amazon. Uh, if you're a child, ask your parents, if they have one, but you want to record your lines and you also want to record the other person in the scenes lines. That way it's constantly being played in your ear over and over. So all the music that you listen to during the week, turn that off and you play back your scene, your character's lines, the other lines of the other character. So it's forcing your brain to have to absorb all of this new information in a short period of time. Uh, you can listen to it when you're driving to work, listen to it when you're driving to school, listen to it when you're walking home from school. Uh, at any time, you can literally place it in your ear and listen to it. You can listen to the lines before going to bed. You can listen to the lines when you wake up in the morning, constantly, constantly, constantly. Now, you should also be reading your sides over and over and over. How many times? Till you are completely off book, till you completely know your character forward and backward, completely understand all the details of the scene. It's about mastery. This is your craft. This is something that you should have fun exploring. So you want to constantly read. If I have to give you a number, you should have read your sides at least 10 to 100 times. I'm serious, if you're serious about your career. If you really want to book a television series, if you want to book guest star work on television, then you're going to have to have control over your character's dialogue and really understand the scene. Another thing that will help is to get index cards, write the other character's lines, and then you can write your line right after the character and then that way, regardless of how you flip it over, if you flip it over and it says your character's lines, then you should force yourself to try to think what the character that you're in the scene with said before those lines. If you pull out the index cards and it's the other character's lines, then you should know 
what's your lines that come after what this character says. Now, this is just dealing with memorization. Of course, there's other tools in our toolbox that we have to use, understanding who our character is, what's their personality, right? What is your character going after in the scene? What are the obstacles in the scene that are coming up against them from achieving what it is that they're trying to accomplish? We'll get into that in more depth, but I wanna deal right now with just memorizing lines, and I wanna to come to a close with this. You know, how much more comfortable you will feel if you know your lines. So don't put the pressure of yourself going into an audition and not knowing your lines. Now, are there gonna be circumstances where you may just not have enough time to do all of this? Yes, um, especially if you're going out a lot, you may have three auditions and you just got one audition and it's straight to callback and you only have three hours. Well, in that situation, you're probably not going to be completely off book. So in that scenario, you're going to have your lines and you're going to keep reading and you're going to really understand what's happening in the scene. So then that way you can go to your script, pick up some of the lines, and then you can convey to the reader that you're reading with your lines or you can deliver it if it's a self-tape audition. The whole point is you'll at least understand what's happening in the scene. And so it's gonna make your performance a lot stronger. But if you are given the time, a few days, a week, to actually be off book, there's no reason why you shouldn't be unless you're not taking your craft seriously. Oh, but I don't have enough time. Get off of social media, work on your lines. Oh, but I don't have enough time. Sleep one hour less two hours less, learn your lines. This is not a everyday thing, but if it's really important for you to book the role, then you're gonna have to make some sacrifices. It's your career. All right, you guys, I hope that helped. If you're interested in online classes or in-person classes, go ahead and send us a message with your name, number, and email. I hope you guys have an amazing day and we'll talk soon.